Singapore, 250 other literature festivals have started in India. Um, and yet, to my constant surprise and, and relief, um, none of them have anything approaching our scale. But also I think none of them have our reach. The incredible work that my colleague Namata does, finding the rootsiest, newest writers from across India uh, in languages that are often forgotten by the urban English-speaking elites, the Bunsings and so on, working away, mixed with the glitzy names of international literature, the Pulitzer winners, the Booker winners, the Samuel Johnson winners, all brought together in this wonderful mix, create something that no other literature festival has yet even begun to replicate anywhere else. I would say anywhere else in the world, because we are now the biggest literature festival in the world. In 10 years, we've grown from 16 people to a third of a million footfalls last year. The thing, though, as Sanjoy said, which I think really singles out this festival, is the fact, and, it, and because other festivals here are free, perhaps people do not understand how extraordinary it is. It is still the only one of the really big international literature festivals, the ones that bring the really big names of literature, that is remaining completely free. When you go to Hay on Wai, you pay £100 to hear a Nobel Prize winner. When you go to, um, when you go to Penn, New York, you can pay $150 or $250 to sit at the table uh, with some novelist who's won some prize. Every single event at Jaipur is completely free, and no writer is paid to attend. Everything happens for the love of literature, and the one thing I would advise you all to do, I say this each year, uh, but it is an extraordinary thing, go down to Jaipur railway station during the festival, and you will see there kids who, I don't know, dodge fares, found some way to get to Jaipur from Assam or Tamil Nadu or God knows where, and they're there on the platforms. They can't afford even a hostel, but they've come for the love of literature. And they're there in their hundreds. It's a wonderful sight. And what we, I think, are proudest of is the fact that we are every year igniting tens of thousands of young minds with the greatest writers in the world, the pick of the faculty of Oxford and 